Hey guys, thanks for checking out Scotty's Hobbies. Today I am answering a few questions. I don't even know what the hell I'm pointing at. There's nothing over here. I'm answering a few questions uh, that have been asked numerous times on this year 4L60E transmission. This one is out of a 01. Um, yes, 01. Uh, so similar years should be very similar, uh, and other years might be similar as well. But this is going over a few questions that I have been asked over the last few years since having the Shift Solenoid uh, video posted. So we're going to go over those and here we go. All right, another question I get a lot about this 4L60E transmission out of my Tahoe is harsh shifting or what causes harsh shifting when I'm taking off from one to two or even uh, park in to uh, drive. Well, that's a different issue. That could be shift so much. But harsh shifting, or like when it starts to shift, it like shakes hella bad, and then goes into gear and runs fine. Uh, what can cause that? Very, very common problem for the shuttering or abnormal one-two shift or one-two super hard shift is the one-two accumulator. And again, this is pretty simple repair and check. You do have another accumulator on the other side of your valve body um, separator plate that is on the transmission side. Uh, go ahead and check my other videos. I might have one up of that. If not, I'll try to make one soon. While you're watching this, like, subscribe, and share. And if you do have this problem, if you do need these parts to repair this problem, I'll have links in the description below to buy those parts. You can do the pinless Sonex 1-2 uh, accumulator and 3-4 accumulator uh, pinless valves. That's what I did on the build on my 4L60E for my Tahoe. And I've got 700 miles on that thing, and I love it. So I do recommend the Sonex I do recommend the Sonex ones, but factory, they're plastic pistons and just plastic could be bad uh, or could go bad a lot sooner than a metal one. So upgrade this if you're going to go ahead and check it, just have them standing on the side. Uh, let's go ahead and take it off real fast. This is a real quick repair, I mean remove and replace. Make sure you torque everything back down. I believe it's eight pounds uh, on these 10 millimeter bolts. Let's go ahead and do this real fast. It's a quick, easy repair or check. One, two, accumulator. All you need to do is take off, I'm oh, sorry, you wanna drain your pan first, take off your pan. You might have to move your shift linkage to get the pan off, but get to this point, you don't need your shift solenoids disconnected, and you don't really need to remove anything else. This transmission, is a piece of junk that I bought from uh, somebody on eBay. I do have a few videos about that if you do want to check them out so you don't buy from them, really. This thing got like 1,500 miles on it and went completely. And when just messing with this transmission, I've realized that this valve body is way over torqued. So if that's poor, what else is poor in this transmission? For video sometimes. All right. Make sure you hold your bolts in place. Here is what is inside of this accumulator. So at this time, I would really just reinstall a shift kit instead of this junk. This is supposed to be their built transmission, by the way. And it's got a plastic 1-2 accumulator in it. If your piston is seized, or doesn't come out as easy as this piece of junk does, and it's stuck in there, you can't get it out, this port right here, you could 
put air in. You could set your compressor to 40 PSI and just apply air right here. It'll push your piston out, make it much easier to work on. But make sure you set a 40 PSI just so you don't scratch the walls or anything when it comes up if it is crooked. So now that we have everything imaginary put back together or upgraded, whatever we're doing. If you are chasing a harsh shift issue while you're this far into the accumulator, you should check the electronic power control solenoid right here. Go ahead and reinstall your connection for EPC first. There we go. Now your one, two accumulator. Set it in place. With this one, we're gonna have to apply some pressure. All right, now you're gonna to torque all these to eight pounds, I believe, and that's it. Hopefully this solves your one, two harsh shift or your harsh shift from park to reverse or from neutral to drive with your EPC.